but from loving, took hold of me so strongly, and as you see, it has not released me yet. Love led the two of us unto one death. And Kaina waits for him who took our lives. These words passed, were borne across from them to us. And when I listened to those injured souls, I bent my head and held it low, until the poet asked of me, what are you thinking? And I responded and I began, Alas, how many gentle thoughts, how deep a longing led them to this agonizing past. And then I addressed my speech again to them, and I began, Francesca, your afflictions move me to tears of sorrow and of pity. There is no greater sorrow than thinking back upon a happy time of misery, and this your teacher knows. Yet if you long so much to understand the root of our first love, then I should tell my tale to you as one who weeps and speaks. One day, past the time away, we read of Lancelot, how love had overcome him. We were alone, and we suspected nothing. And time and time again, that reading led our eyes to meet our faces pale, and yet one point alone defeated us. When we had read how that desired smile was kissed by one so true a lover, this one, this one who shall never be parted from me while all his body trembles, kissed my mouth. A Galahalt, indeed, that book, and he who wrote it too, that day we read no more. And while one spirit said these words to me, the other wept, so that because of pity, I fainted. And then my body fell as a dead body falls. Very good. Go. 